fix launch error game client encountered an application error, error code, 22. Solution 1, do a complete restart of your computer, here are some methods you can try at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash rhvrack. How many ways to shut down and restart your Windows 10 computer? Note. Windows 10 users, you may need to disable the fast startup first, here's how at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash bhckni. The pros and cons of Windows 10 s fast startup mode. And, we kindly suggest that you disable all of the basic functions of your computer, such as some third-party scanner slash printer. Possible solution 2, check out the following general guidelines at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash fdm2z3. 1. Take a quick look at the minimum hardware requirements for your game. 2. Check if you have a 64-bit Windows-based operating system. Note, if you purchase... the game on your Mac OS device, give boot camp a go. See detailed instructions at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash qlksma. Learn how to install and use Windows on your Mac with boot camp. 3. Check if you are running DXX11. Hit Windows key and R to bring up the run prompt type xdig, without quotes, and press the enter key click the display tab from the panel view in the DXX window look at the upper right side note, for Windows 7 look for DDI version, for Windows 8 tenths look for feature levels instead. 4. Updating both your Windows and hardware drivers. Note, for note. Slash laptop users you may be required to force your game to use the added graphic card. 5. Verify the integrity of your game cache files. 6. Remove and reinstall some commonly buggy dependencies for your game. 6.1 Check out and remove these programs using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Redistributable, x64, 10.0.40219, Microsoft Visual C++ 2012 Redistributable, x64, 11.0.61030.0. Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 Redistributable, x64, 12.0.3050.1.0 Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 Redistributable, x64, 14.0.23026.0 Note, the version numbers may vary. 6.2 Restart your computer. 6.3 Please download and install the following in this order. First, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Redistributable Package, x64, at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash r4uhfx. Second, Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2012 at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash nmfrv6. Third, Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2013, vcredist underscore x64.exe. Only, at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2ujpzpv. Fourth, Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015, vc underscore redis.x64.exe only at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash g1e1j also reinstall dxx at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash z7 gets for your system now navigate to backslash steam backslash steam apps backslash common backslash your game name here backslash underscore common redis backslash dxx backslash june 2010 backslash and run the file called xitook.exe or simply xitook refer to the below image restart your computer 7 Run system file checker, sfc.exe, as the admin user. See more info at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash os9ugf. Use the system file checker tool to repair missing or corrupted system files.
Disable Steam Overlay. Navigate to your Steam library. Right-click dash properties on the game you were trying to play. Uncheck Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. 9. Run your game in the compatibility mode. Go to backslash steam backslash steam apps backslash common backslash your game here. Right-click properties on deadbydaylight.exe. Click the compatibility tab. Check the run this program in compatibility mode for. Select Windows 8 slash 7 slash Vista slash XP. 10. Perform the clean boot to disable software that interfere with your system network or ports. Note, Windows Defender is also known to cause matchmaking issues. Consider disabling it or replacing it with more suitable alternatives. 11. Open network ports used by Steam. Hint, you may configure your security program and slash or router. Steam client, UDP 27000 to 27015 inclusive, game client traffic, UDP 27015 to 27030 inclusive, typically matchmaking and HLTV, TCP 27014 to 27050 inclusive, Steam downloads, UDP 27031 and 27036, incoming, for in-home streaming, TS and 36 and 27037, incoming, for in-home streaming, UDP 4380. Steamworks P2P networking and Steam voice chat, UDP 3478, outbound, UDP 4379, outbound, UDP 4380, outbound. See more at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash 5gpvlz. Required ports for Steam. 12. Fix connection issues by running these commands as the admin user. IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew IP protocol configuration slash flush and then reinstall easy anti-cheat as the admin user. Restart your computer later. 13. Uncheck enable Steam Cloud synchronization for your game temporarily. Terminate all of Steam related processes using Task Manager. Backup and delete the contents of the folder at C colon backslash program files, x86, backslash Steam backslash user data backslash, your unique ID, backslash 381210, or similar in your installation directory for Steam. Hint. It should be a file called Remote Cache and a folder called Remote. Recheck Enable Steam Cloud Synchronization for your game. Exit Steam, rerun it and launch your game. 14. Run the following commands, one at a time, as the admin user, dedit.exe. Set test signing off, dedit.exe set noitigrita checks off restart your computer. See more info at https colon slash slash goo.gl slash x283. Easy anti-cheat cannot run if driver signature enforcement has been disabled. 15 other voices on the web, 1. Remove third-party security program using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. 2. Remove easy anti-cheat, using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. Then verify the cache for your game. 3. Try updating your graphic driver. 4. Check if your antivirus removed slash quarantined any Steam-related file, such as the rungame.exe. Is so, restore and trust that item manually. 4. Back up your personal data, reset slash restore or reinstall your Windows. 5. Try to launch the Steam agent as administrator. If the above info doesn't work for you however, then please do reach out to their team of support tech so they can help troubleshoot this with you further.